This is the agenda that is being rejected as biased and yet the US seems to be needling in India's internal affairs. As India has once again condemned the religious violence now, fresh sermons by the US state panel. A month before the Prime Minister's visit to the US is slated. And here it seems that a report that has now come out, it is the United States that seems to be lecturing India on religious freedom amid the persistent gun violence. And time for US now to look inward first, as this is the US State Department released its annual report on religious freedom around the world, raising concerns over the violations also in China and Iran and also in India. Now, the State Department's latest survey of religious freedom around the world shows that the conditions of the most oppressive nations around the world that are growing even more dire as well as new troubling trends that is what is being stated by the secretary of state anthony blinken let me go across to rishab now rishab good morning does uh, even this report be taken at face value or not because here this is now we have seen the previous report that came in and the united states has been saying that it shares close relations with india but now with the u.s secretary of state coming out to say when it comes to most oppressive nations and india also being a part of it how would it really spell out and have an impact See, uh, there are two things that we need to uh, understand here. The last report that came in was from a, a non-governmental organization. It uh, didn't have anything to do with the U.S. government. But this report has come in from the State Department of the United States and hence holds some diplomatic grounds. But uh, on, the, uh, on that note, we also need to understand that this report is an attack on India's sovereignty. One cannot be meddling around with the internal affairs of India and that's what this report is doing. Whatever is happening in India, there is an Indian law, there's an Indian constitution as per which the government and the authorities are acting upon and hence uh, such reports are uncalled for. Apart from that, if you go by the report, there are uh, issues that have been cited in the report which has been dealt with iron hand by Indian authorities. Though the, uh, the issues have been uh, mentioned in the report, but the action taken against such issues has not been mentioned in the 49 page State Department uh, Religious Freedom Report. So so this shows that this has been uh, this uh, report that has been made by the first person account or the media reports as being claimed by the state department of the united states has a very biased view toward what's happening in india it mentions uh, the issue of demolition of uh, you know properties in different parts of the country but uh, it fails to mention that all these properties have been already termed illegal notices were served before demolishing them there are issue there are uh, issues like uh, you know, hate speech. The, it fails to mention that how Supreme Court has come down heavily on any such hate speech, and the governments have already been instructed to take uh, action against such hate speeches, uh, be it in Dehradun, be it in Chhattisgarh or Madhya Pradesh. So uh, the report, when it comes uh, out, it, it do mention what wrong has happened, but they fail to mention what right the Indian government, the Indian authorities, are doing to tackle these situations, and that's uh, the uh, that's the point where this report comes out as a bias and uncalled for at this moment.